G2C, it's a little budget purchase. If it's anything like the G2C, it's gonna be a good gun. But this ain't no accuracy test or nothing like that. Just a little, see how it, how it run right out the box. Just put a little bit of oil in it. So. What's going on, YouTube? Two way gang, it's Mr. I Like Guns. Hit that like, smash that subscribe if you're new to this channel. Let's get right off into this. I should have got this video out to y'all a week ago. If you know, been watching my channel, I purchased this G3C maybe what, a few weeks ago, like a month ago. And uh, I finally got some first shots through it. And I should have got this video out to y'all a week ago, but having a full time job, taking care of small kids and trying to do videos is very difficult. But nonetheless, we here, and the first shots on the G3C went extremely well. I didn't purchase this for a carry gun or anything like that. I really purchased it for a stash gun, even though it's extremely capable of being a carry gun. But it's just something for the dashboard or just a stash around the house for a backup gun. But with all that being said, the first shots went pretty well some things i liked some things i didn't like but let's go ahead and get a safety check for y'all nothing in the mag nothing in the chamber we are clear and safe but yeah got some first shots through it i put 200 rounds through it 115 grain blazer brass 100 rounds of that and 100 rounds of Winchester white box, 124 grain. And this thing ate up everything I put through it. It functioned 100% reliably. And that's the thing you want when it comes to a firearm. We like when things work, right? But like I said, there's some things I liked and didn't like. And I'm gonna start with this grip. I really love this aggressive texture that Taurus upgraded on the G3C from the G2C. They made it more aggressive on this. And this thing right here really just sticks in your hand and help you control that recoil or this short barrel because the gun is not that big. And you want to be able to hold on to your firearm. And I had no trouble holding on to this and really taming that recoil, man. I really, really liked it, the recoil management that the G3C gave me. I really controlled it better than my Hellcat, and that's my main carry gun. My Hellcat Pro is my main carry gun, and this right here has less recoil than my Hellcat Pro, and that's saying a lot considering that this is a budget gun, and my Hellcat Pro was almost 700 when I purchased it. Not saying that price matters, but in that case, it kind of do. And man, this thing just really control recoil very well. Well, I can at least with this G3C better than I did from when I had my uh, G2C. And that's, and that's really good. And another thing I did like about the G3C is that they changed these sights to the uh, blacked out serrated rear, which I do like over what they had on the G2C. And man, these sights right here really Helped out a lot. I really wasn't trying to uh, be too accurate. I was really just doing a functionality test, but these sights put shots where I needed them to go, and the gun was fairly accurate, and that's what you want from a firearm. But a big thing that I didn't like about this is this trigger, and mainly on the first shot because this got double strike capability which gives you a uh, double action uh, on the first shot, on that first pull, and there's no wall when you got that. If you see here, there's no wall, it just pulls straight through. And 
that really threw my first shot off. I was kind of, you know, uh, flinching on that first shot because there's no wall, and I'm used to guns having a wall on that first shot. But the good thing about this trigger is it do got a nice reset and all that good stuff, and the follow-up shots was pretty decent. It's just that first shots was really, the first pull was really irking my nerves with this gun. But other than that, hey, what can I say? It works for the price points you get. Get these things for a tourist, really. Did that thing with these. You getting a functioning gun that's carry size, and uh, it works, man. I wouldn't be afraid to carry this if I had to, but I don't have to carry this gun, so it's just a stash gun. But if anybody getting these uh, Taurus G3Cs, I wouldn't sneeze at it because they are actually really good guns. Like I said, the first shots on this, man, was it was extremely good, man. But I don't think this finish is going to hold up too well because when this thing got kind of hot during the first shots, you can see it was kind of turning gray and it wasn't from like the residue from the bullets it was all like from the heat but when it when it cooled down the color came back to it but i don't know man it's just this look it's i haven't had this gun long and it's uh already showing wear on the uh slide and i don't even carry this thing it just sit around man like i said it's just a stash gun and it's just been sitting around for couple of weeks and I already got some scuffs on it but that's not a big deal it's just the aesthetic thing but other than that like I said it functioned through 200 rounds and I did put like 10 rounds of hollows through this I put uh some sig v crown through this and it functioned the hollows as well so that's a good thing that it does function self-defense rounds and you do want your gun to be able to function that if it can't function self-defense rounds what's the point because you don't want to carry ball ammo and risk injuring somebody else other than your attended target and all that stuff so that's a good thing it ran self-defense round ate the 200 rounds up or the ball ammo that i put through it blazer brass winchester white box it ate it all no malfunctions locked back at the end of every mag and uh the one thing, another thing that I didn't like, just holding this gun right here and releasing the mag, it just shoots the mag right out of there. But for some reason, when I was uh, switching mags during my firing, the mag wasn't dropping out like I wanted to. But now it is, and it's crazy, but that was just something that was happening too, and I kind of didn't like that the mag was sticking. I don't know what was that was from, but now it's not sticking, and it's crazy, but other than that, these G3Cs, you can't really go wrong with them for the price point. If somebody looking for their first gun and 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 uh and not wanting to spend a lot of money, I think this is the best option you can get when it comes to a budget gun. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money, this and the Shield Plus, this ran me 300. The Shield Plus will run you like 399. But if you don't want to spend that 400 for the Shield Plus and just around 250, 300. The G3C is an excellent choice. You're getting a very, very reliable firearm and that's good coming from Taurus. The G-Series that they've been coming out with all have been excellent, excellent firearms. And the G3C is no different. Shoots, shoots very well, man. I can get a hold of these serrations real good. I didn't have no problem racking the slide and dropping the slide, all that good stuff. The first shots, like I said, went well. Controlled the recoil real good. Love the grip texture, man. Love that grip texture. I wish more companies would go with this right here. And some people don't like real aggressive grip texture, but I do, man, because I like to control that recoil, and it, and it didn't eat my hand up or nothing like that, even though this is probably the most aggressive grip texture that I got on any of my guns. But other than that, first shots went well. If you're looking to get a G3C, don't hesitate. Not looking to spend a lot of money. Perfect choice right here. It's Mr. I Like Guns, and I'm out.